In today's video, we're going to look at the terms irradiation and contamination. And we'll see what it is that makes radiation harmful. Irradiation is the process by which an object is exposed to radiation. And that could be radiation of any type. So ionizing radiation, like alpha particles, beta particles, gamma rays, or x-rays but also non-ionizing radiation, like ultraviolet or microwave radiation. So if any radiation of any type was to reach your body, we'd say that you had been irradiated. Contamination, on the other hand, is when radioactive particles get onto other objects. So if you had some radioactive uranium on your arm, then we'd say that you're contaminated. Now, contamination itself isn't actually a problem. The real issue is that the radioactive material that you're contaminated with is likely to decay and irradiate you. And it's this increased risk of irradiation which is the issue. The next thing we need to look at is what determines how harmful radiation is. This depends on a range of different things, but the main ones are what type of radiation it is, where you're exposed to it, and the amount of radiation that you receive. We saw earlier that there are loads of different types of radiation, and that they can be split between ionizing and non-ionizing. Generally, it's the ionizing ones which are the most dangerous, because they can enter living cells and interact with the molecules inside. In particular, the radiation can ionize our DNA, which can cause mutations. And in rare cases, this can lead to the cells dividing uncontrollably and developing cancer. One thing we should add is that ultraviolet radiation can also lead to cancer, even though it's not always considered to be ionizing. If we arrange them all in one long list, from the most harmful to the least harmful, then it would look like this, with alpha being the most harmful and radio waves not being harmful at all. However, the order of this list changes depending on the location of the source. If the source is outside the body, then alpha stops being the most harmful because it gets stopped by a short distance of air and can't penetrate the skin. Beta and gamma radiation, on the other hand, can penetrate the skin. And so for external sources, these two are by far the most dangerous. If the source is on the body though, like in the case of contamination, or if it's inside the body, for example if you ate something that had been contaminated, then alpha radiation would be the most dangerous, because it would be able to make it into your cells. The last factor we mentioned was the amount of radiation that you're exposed to, which we can call the dosage. This will depend on three things. How far away from the source you are, how long you're exposed to it for, and most importantly, how radioactive that substance is. In order to minimize the radiation and avoid contamination, we need to take precautions whenever we're around radioactive sources. This includes wearing protective gear, like gloves and overalls, but also handling the radioactive item with tools like tongs, rather than using our hands directly, and keeping the item in a lead-lined box whenever possible. One last thing we should mention is that being irradiated can't cause you to mutate into a mutant in any way, and can't make you radioactive. So if you've been exposed to lots of radiation, you can't then emit that radiation to others. It's only if you're carrying a radioactive source, and so being contaminated, that you could then harm others. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So I hope you found it useful. And we'll see you next time.